Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0336 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0336 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor A circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft position sensor to know the location of the crankshaft as it spins. And this is used for timing. And so it's seeing an error inside of the circuit. So I'd have to be troubleshooted to figure out why. And there's going to be two main causes of this. It'll either be the sensor or in the wiring. And many people will go out and just swap out the crankshaft position sensor. And then if that doesn't work, then they'll go check out the wiring. But the wiring is not difficult to check, especially if you have a known good sensor and a meter. They, they're actually pretty quick and easy. And some Honda crankshaft position sensors have two wires and some have can even have four. But by far the most common is going to be three, three wires going to the crankshaft position sensor. And what's going on with these is you'll have a ground and you'll have voltage coming from the battery. It could be like five volts, eight volts or 12 volts. 12 volts is pretty common, but it's just a reference voltage. That's all it is. And then the third wire is going back to the onboard computer as a piece of metal goes very close to the front of the crankshaft position sensor. It finishes a circuit that sends a pulse back to the onboard computer. And so what many mechanics will do is they'll have a known good crankshaft position sensor. They'll attach it onto this harness and they'll come in from the back. They'll go from ground to the return wire to the onboard computer, put the key in the on position and they'll put a, like a wrench or a piece of metal in front of the sensor and it'll go from like zero to five volts like this. And you'll know the whole circuit's good. That's just a quick, easy way to do it. You can also just check for any opens or shorts. You could come in and just read and see if you have uh, the reference voltage, which is, you know, like 12 volts or 5 volts or 8 volts, whatever it is. You'll need a schematic to know for sure what the reference voltage is, but it's always just steady voltage. And if you're not getting this reference voltage, then you, you like you probably have a blown fuse. And quite that's a common problem is the fuse blows. Uh, it's usually located inside the engine compartment. So check for that, uh, even though it can be up underneath the dash. Uh, the engine compartment is a common location for the fuse box inside of there and there'll be like a fuse in there like say like SNS or sensor or something like this and it'll control this and the camshaft position sensor quite often they're both on the same fuse on the same circuit and so there's some YouTube videos on that for what to check when it comes to this wiring for this but but basically just be sure that the wiring's good and the, and there's no problems there and that the and that that fuse isn't blowing and if that's all good, then you very likely are going to have to change out that camshaft position sensor. And they're not super high cost items or nothing. It looks like over on Amazon, they're ranging from 30 to 60, $65 or so, $75. It's going to, you know, of course, it's going to depend on what year of Honda and engine you have, but they're not super high cost items or nothing. And the main thing when it comes to swapping out one of these crankshaft position sensors is the location of it. The, quite commonly, you have to remove something like the valve cover or there'll be other components inside of the way and to get to it. The sensor by itself is usually easy to swap out. Usually you have like one or two bolts and a wiring harness, but there's going to likely be something else inside of the way and you're probably going to have to remove it. So that that's the biggest part of replacing one of these is any other component or any other parts that are inside of the way of getting to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with a P0336 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.